Yo, how y'all doing, man? It's day with another video. Today we're gonna be watching Capri, uh, Caprice making two hundred thousand dollars a day. What? At eighteen? Hey, man, congrats on your success, man. I saw another video of uh, his growth operator Pierre. I watched that video, so I just want to see this video right here, and hopefully it, it can inspire some people that's watching. Um, it's for sure gonna inspire me to do some. Um, to lock in a lot more too so with that being said let's get straight into it this 18 year old kid is making hundreds of thousands of dollars a day just from selling clothes online so we spent the day together in miami to learn exactly how he's doing it so we're here right now in the design district doing some shopping yeah what we got planned for today so today we're just gonna buy a little bit of stuff you know what i mean yeah but also we got the drop today yeah that's the big drop you know what i'm saying so today we're gonna be releasing these pants this hoodie there's only gonna be 300 of these made and 200 of these made. So we're gonna drop those later. It's pretty go crazy. It's maxed out at 66K I can make once sold out just cause it's pre-made. So today you're gonna try to sell $60,000 worth of clothing. Yep, that's the goal. What's your brand? Like tell the people about your brand. So my brand is Project Capri. My name is Caprice. And Capri is Latin for the word goat, which is basically the project of turning the youth into the greatest versions of themselves. You know mm. what I'm saying? Since you launched the brand. That's hard, man. I fuck with that. Today, how much has it been able to bring in? A uh, million dollars in revenue, not including my other Shopify that they put my payments on hold. So about 1.2 million in revenue. That's so, crazy. 1.2 million still in high school. Right, exactly. I graduated this. Rule number three. Hey, that's dope. You can't get rich slow. When I owned 100 houses. <laughs> you put me on. I ain't gonna lie. They got some real. I ain't never seen most of these photos. This right here. Tough. This reminds me of like Kanye in like 2000. Yeah, crazy pieces. So when you in a store like this and you see clothes going for two racks for a t-shirt, what do you think goes into that? How could you possibly make a shirt and sell for $2,000? Shopping now is hard because I know how much it costs to get this made. So like paying $1,700 for it is like kind of mind boggling to me, but I don't know. They're like the masters of building their personal brands, I guess, because charging that shirt over there was $750, that's crazy. I don't even know if I'd ever want to get to that point one day, but if I would, that would be fire, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, what do you sell your, your, your hoodie for right now? Anywhere from 60 to 120, depending on the quality. How much it cost you to make one of those hoodies? These ones are about 24 a piece in bulk, you know what I mean? Just for the LQ. That's a good profit, Mike. What was it like, though, growing up for you? Where, you? where were you born at? Where'd you grow up at? I was born and raised Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, my parents were divorced when I was a little bit young. My mom was a businesswoman. My dad was kind of in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Um, I lived with my dad, uh, be with my mom a lot, but she taught me a lot about business, you know what I mean? Because she ran a car dealership, so she taught me a lot about that. But yeah, hustling has always been in the family ever since I was young. Even when I was young, I was selling water bottles and stuff like that, making money. So. At school or on the street? On the street. I asked my mom for a case of water um to buy for me and then i gave her the money back plus more to buy another one and i kept doing that that's how i made my first 200 dollars by myself when i was living like, i was like 11 so, though so so you knew you wanted to be a businessman from a young age for sure yeah 100 percent. is capri the very first clothing brand or actual business you started or did you start any other real businesses other than selling water well i've started real businesses but not like llc businesses so yeah. like i said um i've been drop shipping before i've drop shipped eric emmanuel shorts splatter ball guns i've resold shoes before for a long time when i was younger that kind of was my hustle when you say younger though like you're 18 right now like right. you were like 13 14, 14 yeah wow. so all the struggles that people go through like the late nights staying up you know what i'm saying trying to figure out how to, where they're going to be in life i had those when i was younger um when stuff was going down because my mom fell victim to the 2008 crash and they lost the business stuff like that so i've been taking care of my parents for about the past two three years like two years now year and a half so um i was like damn losing money and stuff like that we need to figure something out so i had to get something going so now how long you been running the brand for about a year and a half now about a year and a half and what's the most you guys did in a day so far the most we did in a day was 267,000. god Nah, you know what, bro? Nah, hey. We might have to make a, our own clothing brand. Because 267000 in a day? That's bullshit. And that was December 31st, so about three months ago. 
267 dollars. What were you, 17 at the time? Yeah, I was 17. I just turned 18 last month. Yeah. What'd you do? Did you skip school that day? Uh, no, it was a Saturday. It was a Saturday, but I don't think I went to school for like the next two, three days after that for sure. What's it even like going to school now, knowing that you make your teacher yearly salary in a day? Um, if you want me to keep it 100% honest, I was missing so much school, they unenrolled me. And I just got re-enrolled last week. So it's cool, but I don't really talk about it too much. Like the students there know and everything, but um, I don't talk about it. My teachers know from kids telling them and stuff, but it's yeah. really, it's crazy. For so sure. we're out here on the streets. I'm sure that is crazy, bro. That's, that's amazing, man. I can imagine like being in high school making two hundred sixty seven thousand dollars in college. It's kinda like it's in class, kinda like, what am I even doing here? But that's that's dope, man. That's dope. See somebody wearing bro's brand live in full effect. we are in two different worlds and that's the represent i represent we in two different worlds yep that's all that matters that's all that matters yeah. what's your name Hancho. Hancho? nice to meet you buddy stay blessed that's what's up. Yeah, that's crazy. Is that, you see that in Vegas a lot or no? Yeah, I see it more in like Vegas, Cali, and maybe like Texas more than I do Miami. But yeah, that's definitely fire for sure. Now, 18, what's been some of the best things you've been able to spend your money on? So I have a 2018 Trackhawk. I have How much? I think it was at 86. Hey, that's, that's, that's what's up, man. What's been some of the best things you've been able to spend your money on? So I have a 2018 Trackhawk. I have a 2021 AMG GLE 63. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's one of my. That's one of my. That's one of my dream cars right there. Yes, uh, I bought my dad a house, and I just moved my mom into her new house. Oh. Buy her house when I move out. So those are some of the big things that I bought so far. That's what's up, man. You got mom's a crib. Yeah, he just got mom's a crib too. So you know what I'm saying? It's fire. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal, man. For y'all watching this video, the money's cool. Go shop and do all that stuff. But when you got money to take care of your people, man, nothing feels better. And now we got this drop coming up later in the day. Yeah. How you yeah, feeling? You think it's going? You think it's going to do good? Yeah, I think it's going to do good for sure. Um, it's pretty limited, and my SMS list is about twenty-seven thousand people, so I feel like it's going to do pretty good. I know another ad but what if this ad like literally this exact ad could he just met a, a supporter of the brand and he just gave him his personal hoodie show him the hoodie real quick he just said that he knew me and he caught my clothes before and i just asked him if he had one of those hoodies and he said he didn't so i just gave him mine you know what i'm saying that's the only one in the world too because the other bulk hasn't came in yet so Hey, he, made, he made it his whole month, bro. Yeah, no, that's, that's the real thing, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they support me because, yeah, that's hard. you know what I mean? It don't, give, it don't cost nothing to do that, you know what I mean? Nah, that's real, bro. That's, that's, I seen that, I knew you were solid. These are the boots I just picked up right here. Balenciaga striker boots. I got damn near every color of these except for this one, so. Gotta get right with this. Yeah, these are low-key crazy. <laughs> Heavy, too. The way that I'm driving this race, they about to put me on suicide watch. So what else we shot before today? Shoot, it's really just whatever I see, you know what I'm saying? We're probably gonna hit up Rick Owens because last time I was here like a month ago, James Harden bought the whole store and they shut down for the rest of the day. So <laughs> I wanted to Nah, niggas is making too much money, bro. He bought the entire store and then closed down. No, nah, I gotta get my money up, bro. You watching this, this shit motivates you to get your money up, bro. Get these one shoes, so we're probably gonna hit up there. You spend a lot of the money you make right now? Or this is kind of nah. like a rare thing? This is a rare thing. For the first time, I did my first big shopping like a week ago. Because I went down, this way? Or this? I have to check. Because I went down to um, Cali and last time I was there, I remember I was window shopping. I couldn't really buy the stuff I want. Uh -huh. So I spent like eight grand in California about a couple weeks ago. But now this is a special occasion. But usually, yeah, nah. My mom always says I'm very frugal. Yeah. I'm very like stingy with my money. But the way I do things, let's say I make 88 grand. The 80 will get put up to either save or invest, and then the eight grand is stuff that I can move around or reinvest. You know what I mean? I'm the same way. Like, I'm frugal on the day to day, but when it's right. time to when pop out, time, I don't do even it. think twice about spending money. Exactly. Exact. Success with day of shopping, my boy. Yep, we got some pieces, you know what I'm saying? We got some business to handle. We do. Spending money's cool, but we gotta go make some money now. So we gotta drop in about an hour. This may be dope. We're gonna go back to the Airbnb, break down the whole business behind this drop, and 
watch this man make fifty thousand dollars live in front of your faces make sure to hit that subscribe button nobody else is doing it like this we'll see y'all the crib but this man about to drop the collection in three minutes. three minutes. What's the play? So you just send a text, you post on Instagram, and that's it. Yeah, that's about it right there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so as you can see, let me delete this real quick. Let me turn my ringer on. So as you can see, I just made the post right here. But you had that ready. Yeah, I had that ready, obviously. All I gotta do is, sh and here's the order about to start rolling in. Here they are. <laughs> Oh, you didn't even send the text yet. I, this text hasn't even went out yet, so these are just people waiting on the website right now. Yeah. As you can see, this isn't updating for some reason. Oh, there we go. This didn't update. Let me post man, this one. $500 in a second. That's crazy, <laughs> man. Hold on, let me see. I put it in my phone. It's Josh. Oh, Josh. Yeah, on the website. Okay, bet. The post just went up. The text is about to go out in a minute, so we're gonna see how this goes right here. These aren't little orders either, it's 140 yeah. per order. All right, so let's refresh this. Today. Okay. okay, so right now the site is not gonna be live to everyone for another two minutes. So who got access to it? SMS right now. Uh -huh. the, the text should be going out this minute right now, so as you can see, it's updating on here, how I turn this up. So you up almost $1,000 and the site isn't even public so yet. So far, yeah. It hasn't even went public yet. I still got to uh -huh. make all my posts. I always do it a couple minutes early because you got to post everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's great. It's still coming in right now. Oh, there we go. They're about to start going out now. They might break your phone with this one. Right. The code's still coming in. It's like a regular sort. The sales are like glitching on top of each other. They're like, yeah, they're glitching on top of each other right now. Hold on, I'm still trying to post everything. That's the hardest part about is just getting everything out. Capri. I'm on the way. No, I'm not. Oh, let me see. Boom. Another hundred and eight dollar order. Hundred and forty eight. So now that bro, it's been like, <laughs> bro, you know what's so crazy? Man, it's really could have opened up some a cup of noodles, put it in the microwave, came back. Got the noodles, check this phone. Oh, I'm up two bands today. <laughs> I'm up two bands in three minutes. That's crazy. This has 148. That means the SMS hasn't went out until like right now. Uh -huh. Um, Which means that, see look, we're getting $200 orders. Let me go back to my shop. It is crazy, bro. I did Shopify for so many years, got all these sales, but that's, <laughs> that sound is it's still somehow so never gets old, bro. We're at 2750, I mean 2700 so far in yeah. orders. And like, and, yeah, and not even a minute yet, honestly, but I hope this is, is this other thing gets this. It's still not even three yet. Right. But Maybe not even three o'clock yet, bro. Right. It's about to go public. It didn't even go public yet. So when you say public, this is just for the people that was on the list already. Yeah, so like when I send out on my list, if there's a password on my website, I'll, I'll give them the password. So exclusive drops, yeah. They can get in early. And, and so they're like, really quick. Yeah, so they're just it. quickly trying to get to it, you know what I mean? Yo, SMS. It's three now, so it should open. Yo, SMS just sent. Oh, look, look at this number right here. Look at this number. Yo. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's starting to what you call it. It's going up right now. Look, I keep refreshing this. We're at 5K right now in sales. Let me see. We're at 5K so far in the first minute. 460 people on the site. Let's look at this map right here. Let's see what states are tapping in. It's all in the U.S. Yeah, we got New York, Philadelphia, but if you come over here, let's see what other country is we're at. Who is this? Europe. Um, what is it? The Republic. You can come on this side, CJ. The Switzerland. Uh, what is that? Bro, got almost 600 people on the site right now. So now they're all going through the checkout, and then it's just yeah. about to go stupid. Right, so if you scroll down here, it shows 147 active carts, 115 people checking out. Damn. That just kind of shows your conversion rate right there, you know what I mean? And everybody's rushing because it's a limited drop. Right, so as you can see, it's going up on my phone right here. Is my ringer still on? Oh, we actually have 872 visitors. This is behind, so let me open it right here. See, look, you see this going up right here. We're about to hit 1,000 people on the site. That's oh, we tough. are at 1,000 people on the site, you can see it. Crazy, bro. Yeah, what size do you go? Large. So we're at 6,500 in sales in one minute so far. 1,000 people on the site. Let me make sure everything posted. The Wi-Fi here. I'm stun locked. This is crazy. Yeah. When you close the app is when the notifications start coming back. Yeah, when yeah. I'm on the app, the notifications aren't there. So should I keep it closed? Oh, there we go. That's lit, bro. Let me see. Let me scroll this down. Okay. Oh, 
that all that couple months of work starting to pay off right, right. now. Right now is where it starts paying off. As you can see right here, we're at 9k in sales about to be. They just launched a minute ago and they're up to almost ten thousand dollars in sales. Each one of them rings is like hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, like <laughs> 148, 134, 134, 134, 134. Now people are starting to That sound probably never gets old, man. Congrats, bro. We're not done yet. So we're at 10k so far, so I've already made my investment back. This is how much bulk was, so everything from here is profit. And how many people are checking out right now? Uh, let's see, there's 1,500 people on the website. Uh, 295. Yeah, 295 active cards right now. They might sell out. I don't know if it's a might at this point. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Two minutes. got 300 things and 200 people checking out. That's... Jesus. Oh, the door. This is the SMS. See that? Oh, oh yeah, you got the text right there. This is the like you said, our denim is out now. Give them a discount code. Yeah, it's discount only code. 300 pairs. So everybody's like, yeah, I got yeah. the code. It's only 300. Yeah, so I got a little gold go. message there on yeah. it. Right. I'm surprised you don't even put a link on there, though. They just have to go to the site. Themselves. It doesn't have a link on it? Let me see. Nah, it doesn't. This one it doesn't. But like his old ones, like see this one? Oh yeah, usually they come with a link automatically. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. That's People are manually searching in here. Yeah, yeah, there's not even a link to make them go there, so. Yeah. This is crazy right here, though. This pull is different, bro. Right, <laughs> hey, we got a movie on the way. We got a movie on the way, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're making some money. We got about, this is behind, so we're at about 15,000 in sales, mm. 2,000 people on the site right now. Um, if I open it on my phone, let's see. If I open it on my phone, we are at, so refresh. yeah, about 15 grand so far. In three minutes, said, right? yeah, and the goal is 60. The max it can do is 60, just because, um, what you call it, the amount of energy yeah, we have. Yeah. So, we're about 5k in profit right now. So far, we got 2,007 visitors on the site. I got a privacy screen, so I gotta kind of show it like that right here. Let's click on it. We got a privacy screen, yep, 15,000 in sales. Three minutes. Look at the map right there. Yeah, you're gonna sell out. This thing's going crazy. Let's see who's overseas with it. Hey, international. Yeah, like, look at all this over here. Europe's going crazy. Italy, Switzerland, Italy again, Italy again. Hey, I don't know what to say, but I'm just, I'm just, hey. You call it said, congrats. The United Kingdom, Sweden. So let me close the app again so we can actually hear the notifications. Yeah, give it a quick scroll. Oh my goodness. Still going so far. young day and age money printer. Right. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, this is, as you see, it's jumping up right here too. This is pretty much all that goes into it. Drop day, you can really drop from anywhere. All you gotta do is press a button, unlock your site, and as long as you have everything automated, you can just drop from anywhere. Yeah. All the work has been done in the past, and now yeah. today is the now day where, you, today where you, know. you sit back and yeah. gather everything. You know but I think saying. a lot of people, even when I first saw the video, the 200K drop, right. they just see that. But right. they didn't really see you the locking in, in talking to the manufacturers, doing the designs, right. Building up the influencer relationships, right. you know, yeah, you would just see really that moment right, right here. Yeah, all they see is this, but there's stuff that goes into it behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Talking to manufacturers, samples over samples, I had to get a couple of these made to perfect it, you know what I mean? So, this is where you just sit back and enjoy what you worked for. That, that's, a, that's hard, man. That's hard. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to make a, a coating brand. I have an idea have for a this. meal prep food truck. Chef Wheels. Yup, 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 yup. Already got a good name for it. I ain't gonna say it though, crazy, but bro. yep. Been doing Shopify my whole life. I ain't never seen a drop like that one. So. Are you serious? I never do drops. I build a different type of business. Oh, you know? yeah, you got like, uh, did you like sell like a uh, dropship, right? Uh, I started with dropship and mm -hmm. then I customized and, and your site was open like every day. Yeah, we would do like eight to 10K a day. And that's the other thing too, you don't run any ads for this business. Yeah, no, I run like some IG boost here and there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't run like official ads like to track conversions and stuff like that. A couple of companies have tried to work with me, but it doesn't really make sense to me to dump money into ads when. Obviously, you'll see it'll sell out without ads, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if I do like a, I plan on maybe doing a big pre-order release with like, a, yeah, pre-order release so that people can get everything they've been missing out on. So I might run ads when I do that because then you can get everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no point of running ads because for instance, the size 32s, I think are already sold out. So if I'm running ads and someone's wearing a size 32, they can't even purchase even if they wanted to, you know what I mean? What's the site look like right now? Like the actual website the itself? Website, so this is how the website yeah. looks right here. So this is what people are coming to. This is the Capri rhinestone denim. This is the hoodie I'm wearing right here. And then these are just some extra tees that I got on there that are usually always on my site. And then let me see if I can go to my post scripts and I can show you the conversions from that. 
that's what's up. And it's not even a lot of clothes either. It's, it it's a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're above 20K now for sure. Yep, 20K above sold. Above 20 We're about one-third sold out in seven minutes so far. Seven minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro could have went out, walked the dog, came back to 20 bands. No, I mean, yeah. Yeah, on here, look at how quick this is going right here. Go rush. Those conversions for you real quick. But I got a lot of cam, bro. 21K. 21K so far in seven minutes. How many orders is that? 164 orders. About a... Yeah, I mean, when you really think of it, it's like you're not getting thousands and thousands of customers. It's like building a relationship with a couple thousand people to wait. And then how many units you got to sell or how many customers you got to get today? Like, what is it, like 500, 400? Yeah, uh, actual, well, like, customers yeah actual customers to buy, I only need to get 500. But yeah. then when you build up a list of 27,000 people yeah. with an average conversion rate of 1%, you'll still sell you'll out. You know sell out. Yeah, when you look at it that way, it seems a lot more attainable. I think when right. people see 60K in a day, they're like, oh, I can't do that. But when it's like, can you convince 500 just, people? Yeah, it's just building up a long enough relationship mm -hmm. out of 2,700 people you could definitely get 500 people to pay for it people to buy a fire piece of clothing exactly. that's like oh yeah I could do that yeah that's all it is because so far I've made 20k and all I did was convince 140 people to buy these jeans yeah that's like it that. well, that's literally all it takes too just good branding and a good relationship what do you think makes a drop successful well, what makes a job successful is how happy your customer is with your support and um, how your piece is and honestly what your expectations are because my expectations would be different from somebody else. Somebody can get the same feeling I'm feeling right now on a 10K drop, you know what I mean? It just goes based on very person to person. But um, a successful drop is what you make it. It's honestly from person to person because to some people this drop is terrible and to some people this drop is great. So it's kind of like to each his own, you know what I mean? You just made 25 bands right. in 10 minutes from a drop of your clothing brand. Right. For somebody watching this video that wants to start their own brand, right. how do they do it? If you want to start your own brand, obviously you're gonna to have to get your Shopify together, build your personal brand, your Instagram and everything like that. But it's definitely possible, you know what I mean? So just obviously chase your dreams. If your ambition towards anything, you're obviously gonna succeed if you don't give up. Everybody who is successful probably failed at something and just didn't give up and then look where you end up, you know what I mean? And this is just the beginning for me, you know what I mean? I obviously want to get into real estate. I want to get into some other um, assets, buying properties and stuff like that. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Though. Hey, well, make sure y'all go tap in with his YouTube. He's teaching you guys how to start your own brand. You also got a community, right? Yeah, I do. I have a community uh, with about 1,200 brand owners. We got everything in there from manufacturers, designers, how to make tech packs, uh, how to market. Yeah, the community. That's what. I, that's the. That's the part I saw more of, like the back end on it, um, with him and Pierre. You can either go on the school community and you'll see the top 10. You'll you'll see uh, Project Caprice's community in the top 10. So. Hey, shout out to him. That's what's up. Yeah, how to build your own personal brand. And it helps for all types of businesses, just not clothing businesses. It's kind of like a marketing community. So, yeah. Hey, y'all never see me plug nobody's stuff on my channel, but I'm really watching this kid do this live in front of my face. He's about his business. So, tap in with his YouTube, tap in with his school down below. And, bro, appreciate you. Congrats on the drop, my G. Appreciate it, bro. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Hey, shout out to him. Shout out to Jordan. This makes me want to lock in. I know this makes you want to lock in, too. So, just got to get it. See you today, man. Um, I love y'all, y'all. Road to 1K. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And with that being said, I'm out, man.